Cabin heat, I'm gonna turn up the cabin heat here. Oh wow, that's nice. It's a little cooler than, my, than most of my other flights. Oh. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Victor Oscar Tango. Just about to take off on runway 27, as you can see. I'm gonna practice some circuits, but before I do that, I'm gonna go fly over the dog park, so give me a second. DSV is in the green. Rotate. Up we go. Yeah, I just wanted to come up and do some, uh, do some circuit practice, just because my land of a bird up there. My last few landings have kind of been, you know, hit and miss. Just practice some landings. This might be my last flight of 2023. I know you're probably watching this in like 2030 or something, but uh, yeah. Yeah, what uh, what a, a flying adventure we've had, hey? What a little adventure we've had. Did my $100 hamburgers finally, that's exciting. Got to do some cool flights with some nice people. Now the question is, how am I gonna get up to... The dog park is to my right, the one I'm going to. How am I gonna get over there? There's like clouds and stuff. I'm gonna hang out over the Halston Bridge until they tell me it's safe to come in. To let know that there's a plane in the, in the circuit and I kind of have to go straight in for 2-7 but there's a plane coming in for 0-9, so... Let's see what they have to say about that. Cam with Radio Golf, Victor Oscar Tango. Victor Oscar Tango, come straight in. Victor Oscar Tango is just over Halston Bridge. Um, I'd like to come straight in for 2-7 for some circuits. If you could advise when it's safe to come in. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. A company Cherokee is a late down. They should be making the base turn shortly. And uh, two zero miles to the northwest inbound for the ILS-09 is a Beach 1900. The 1900 is estimating in about uh, five minutes. Uh, do you want to wait until the 1900 has landed before you uh, come in? Uh, affirmative, yeah. I can hang it out here. Um, just uh, ordering over Halston Bridge. Trust me, Roger. All right, so what I want to do is I want to descend to get underneath this layer of cloud. So the Halston Bridge is right here below me. Can't see on the camera right now, but I'm a little bit trying to avoid the clouds. So let's pull some car heat on. Just make this a bit of a sharpish turn to get around that. And we're going to descend down. Big Trusker Tango, come straight. Big Trusker Tango. Uh, the 1900 has slowed. They're still five minutes out from now. Um, you'll probably be here in what about two? Uh, if you want to come in, you can get one touch and go in ahead of them. Uh, Victor Oskotenko, check that. I will come in, uh, make a left base for 27. Victor Oskotenko, Red Runway 27, with 24014, and Company Cherokee's one mile on for the touch and go. Skylink 7768, Kim, There's not two aircraft in the circuit, Runway 27. Uh, both will have completed a touch and go prior to your arrival. Check my thanks, guys. That's just it. And Victor Oskotenko is about a two mile final for 27, touch and go. Victor Oskotenko, Roger. All right, so a little slow, push the nose forward, put a bit of power in. A bit more trim here, I'm fighting it a little bit. Got 30 flaps, decently stable. It'll come in a little bit high, but that's okay. All right, now for the part that I always struggle with, the transition. So, pull the power out. Hello, sir. It is my brother. So we will have the beach flag inside, and we will start heading southbound towards Tobiano. My brother is really Roger. And what altitude are you going to be working over to Tobiano? Oh, hey, brother, that was like quite a little ball monkey, that one. Okay, well that landing was great. A bit of a balloon at the bottom. I, I think I sort of tried to transition uh, to cruise a little bit early. And so I ended up, it took, uh, took me a second to get down to ground effect, and that's when things really kind of settle in. When they're near ground effect, things really kind of uh, settle up for me, anyways. And Victor Oscar Tango is downwind for 2-7, touch and go. Victor Oscar Tango, uh, Roger. The Beach 1900, six mile final, landing two and a half minutes, and the Cherokees extended off to the east for their arrival. Roger, uh, Victor Oscar Tango, I'll extend my downwind as well, just to stay behind the Cherokee. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Yeah, this slow play. I'm actually flying slow flight quite nicely right now. I'm crawling over the ground. Alright, so there are the Cherokees off my wing, so I'm going to do a nice, gentle turn while maintaining slow flight, because that's something you have to be able to do. I can with radio Victor Oscar Tango, but a three mile final for 2 7, touch and go. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Alright, so we can 
transition a little bit later, which is kind of scary, but we'll do it. So flaps 30. I want to hurry and get off the runway so that that uh, West Jet plane down there can do their thing. A little bit slow, push the nose forward. A bit more power. Then the glide a little bit. Decently coordinated, decently lined up. Everything's decent. Have made the runway. Gently pull the power out. Countless Radio Jazz 5-5 five, five is. Uh, we're going to start taxing Charlie we'll, uh, for 2 7, and we'll hold short at 2 7. Jazz 5 5, Countless Radio, Roger, runway 2 7, wind 2 4 0 at 5, altimeter 2 9 or 9 or 7, traffic rate, circuits, runway 2 7. Another decent a one. Turkey and a yeah, so a bit of a balloon there, but we still put it down gently. Like, I'm still kind of. You know. Lima Charlie Tango, traffic 7 mile final, runway 27, the Hawker jet landing uh, just over 2 minutes. Can you extend the fall? Lima Charlie Tango, we'll go. Lima Charlie Tango, roger, thanks. Caution, plus way to your mouth, that Hawker jet. Jet coming in, you say? Victor, um, can you also share downwind uh, behind company to come in behind that Hawker jet? Uh, yeah, Victor, ask for Tango, I'll, uh, I'll hold and wait for, uh, I'll be uh, 3 behind the Cherokee. Big Trust Tango, Roger, thanks. Caution, plus way to your mouth, on the Hawker jet. Big Trust Tango. Yesterday, Lima Charlie Tango, how far is the uh, traffic on final? Uh, just past the river junction, 2,700. Do you have them in sight? Lima Charlie Tango, is that traffic in sight? Lima Charlie Tango, Roger. There's that jet coming in. So my landings have been pretty good so far. You know, I've had so, had some balloons, but I've still been managed to push down. Tango, uh, thank you for just orbit at the Halston for a few minutes. I've got a Q400 that's got to get off 09, and then a Q400 off 27, and the one off 27 is going to full time in uh, about four minutes. Big, big Oscar Tanko, yeah, no problem. I'll just uh, hang out here if just to uh, advise when it's safe to come in. Big Oscar Tanko, Roger, thanks for helping. All right, never mind. 33314, push, you keep it hold short. Put it to flaps. Let's just slow it down a little bit here. Cherokee is on about a two-mile final, and uh, the Cessna wants to be just orbiting uh, over the Halston Bridge, about uh, three miles, four miles to the northeast of the airport, uh, give you time to go. Okay, we check all our marks, we're only holding short until the Cherokee's landed, and uh, thanks for the help for the guy uh, orbiting. You're welcome. Oh, Chris, reach your How nice of that person. <whistles> yeah, the clouds are really kind of patchy. They're kind of like, there's like a cloud there, a cloud there, a cloud there. It's like, it's not really socked in, but... Temperature dew point spread is also very close, so I mean, stuff could be forming out of thin air at this point. Flying fairly slowly, but that's okay. We're not actually in slow flight, so we're fine. I think. I hope I didn't just hear the stall horn. It was kind of, I wanted to get five takeoffs and landings so that, you know, my carrying passengers for five takeoffs and landings could be from today. I've done two landings so far. I don't think I'm going to get another three in before. I need to have the plane down by noon. It's a half hour away. I might get one more. Pushing those down. I started getting the altitude. Pushing those forward a little bit. Put a bit more power in. I'm not going too slowly. And radio on course three three one four. How's that Cherokee? We're gonna line up uh, runway zero nine. Lining up zero nine. Uh, you guys were both blocked there. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, check your lining up. Cherokee's in the crosswind turn. On course three three one four. Check marks and we're rolling runway zero nine. On course three three one four. Roger. Rolling zero nine. So they're going to be coming toward me. I keep kind of climbing just a little bit, which I mean, I guess beats oh, the three, alternative. Three, one, four. Can you switch to Vancouver, uh, one, three, two, three, five, no? Oh, there's the three, 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 five, five, no. Roger. I have to offset for them, just to deal with it, make sure I'm not getting caught up in wake, turbul wake turbulence. All right. Just so. five, five, current spell, departure runway two, seven, and you're blowing up. Yeah, this is five, five, is rolling, two, seven. Just five, five, roger, break, break, victory, Oscar Tang, you can turn base at your discretion. Check that Victor Oscar Tango about uh, turning base about four, four miles from the aerodrome. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Victor Oscar Tango, keep company in sight, uh, making the base turn over the river. Hershey Lee, what's other Tango still looking? Victor Oscar Tango has the company in sight. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Lee, what's other Tango has the Victor Oscar Tango in sight? Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. All right, let's let's uh, let's make a move here. We're a long ways away. <whistles> And Victor Oscar Tango turning a four mile final for 2 7, touch and go. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Caution possible turbulence from the departed Q400 and traffic four miles to the west, early downwind rate, runway 27 for circuit, Cessna 152. 
Check our marks and looking for the traffic, Big Trust or Tango. Big Trust, hey, Roger. All right, so we're a long ways away. Also very high Chase, up. Chase, uh, 5, five clear the zone, uh, climbing through 4,100. And thanks to all the circuit, the circuit traffic there. You're welcome. Chase, 5, five Roger, good day. feel a little bit high, but I feel like it might not be too bad. I'm going to make the next one a full stop. It's, it sucks to only have done four landings when I really wanted five, but whatever. Maybe we got some sun coming out too, actually. There's some sun on those mountains over there. Alright, so this is a good place for 30 flaps, I think. Lima Charlie Tango is 3 miles final, 427, touch and go. Lima Charlie Tango, Roger, caution, false way turn, from the part of Q400, uh, and uh, additional traffic mid down when right for circuit. So that's oh, there it is. Lima Charlie Tango. Alright, so we're a little bit high again. Speed's a little slow, let's push the nose forward, add a bit of power in. That's a little better. Super high. Not very exciting. Let's fly it right to the ground here. Power out nice and gently. Pull it to cruise. That was a less great landing. Flaps up, car peed in. Trims up for takeoff, let's roll. That was pretty bouncy. I just ran out of energy. I think I was probably coming in too slow still. Well, this has been good. I mean, I, I definitely feel pretty good about landing today. This last one was a bit janky because I was a bit slow, but I mean, that's the problem. Maybe it's going to come in faster. Maybe that's all it is. Okay, so let down one check. Season peas. In the green primary, Mr. Knight, like that required car feeds on mission full rich fuel set to both. Brake pressure cabin is secure. And Victor Oscar Tango is down, went for 2-7, full stop. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Really sad. Only four landings. Oh well, you know what? They were actually four decent ones. The last one was a bit bouncy. I'm going to come in a bit faster on this next one. Um, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So that traffic down there is. Wait for it. Off my wing, so I can turn whenever I want. But I'm going to wait a bit longer. Turn a little bit closer to the smokestack and everything over there. There is an eagle below me. That was absolutely terrifying. And Kenless Radio, there is an eagle flying late downwind at right around 2,200 feet. I'm Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Lima Charlie Tango, do you copy that? That sounds to do uh, Lima Charlie Tango negative. Say again. Uh, a couple just reported an eagle uh, late downwind at circuit altitude. Sounds to do uh, Lima Charlie Tango, we'll be looking. Thanks. All right, so we're going to carry a little bit more speed. We want to be at least 65. Right now, we are below 65. So push the nose forward, add more power, we're going to extend the glide. Bit of trim to kind of help me out. That's a little better. Now we're talking just over 65. There we go. That looks a bit better. Coming in a bit faster, still a bit high. I'm going to pull some power out here. In fact, I'm just going to pull, it, pull the power out completely. Oh my goodness, pull the power out completely. We're well over the runway now. Another bouncer. Yeah, the last one, the last couple were a bit bouncy. Not totally sure what happened. Maybe I was carrying too much. I don't know. Just need more practice, really. Just need a zillion dollars so I can just fly lots and get really good at it. Hi, it's Paul from the future. Uh, yeah, that didn't record a didn't film a proper ending for this, um, and what should come as a shock to nobody. Uh, but yeah, this is a great example of why we practice. It was, you know, the weather wasn't great, and lots of clouds, and lots of traffic, and everything like that. But uh, yeah, we got through it, and and learned more for next time. Uh, so yeah, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a month. Okay, bye. And Victor Oscar Tango is clear on Echo. Thanks. Have a good day. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger, uh, you too. And uh, thanks for help getting those Q400s out. So I really appreciate it. No, no problem. Let me know when we get ATIS.